Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. So today we'll be discussing a very useful tool which called WinRAR. WinRAR is uh, actually a compression tool that we can use in our everyday life. So today I'm going to show you some useful tips and tricks in order to use it more effectively. So are you ready? Let's go! So, as you may know, in order to download it, you go to a site called RAR Lab, and it is available for Windows and also for Mac OS. And you can choose whenever language you want. So, I already installed it. So, you fire up. Okay. So, the first tip when you open WinRAR, you have this default view which actually shows you the, the current folder. So if you want to change it, you can go to the options menu, then folder tree and show disk and folders. As you can see now you have an overall view of all the drives that you have in your computer. So you, you can go directly in uh, every drive you want or any file you want to compress or decompress. So uh, the next tip I will show you how can actually estimate how much it will take the compression and how long it will be. Let's say for example we have a PDF file let me choose choose someone over here actually I have okay let's say this file which is called radar system engineering it has a size about 39 megabyte so if you if you want to see how much it will take to compress this file all you have to do is to hit the info button as you can see there is another button called estimate so when you click on it it will calculate the package size and estimated time so as you can see here the, the final compressed packet size will be about uh, 30 megabytes and estimated time will be 25 seconds so if you want to compress big files and you want to know how much it will take you can use this useful tip in order to estimate the time okay next tip if you want to compress a file and to split it in different parts all you have to do to choose your file and click the add and under split to volumes on SAS here you can choose uh, the different size of the part of your file so if you want to, to split it in let's say 5 megabyte files all you have to do is to click on 5 megabytes and you hit OK then we will triple 5 megabyte files so it's well if you want to split the compressed file into different file size OK it will take some time <laughs> as usual and we get the results here as you can see we have multiple files here okay and if we want to know the size of each files you can see that each file will be around 5 megabytes so it's very useful 
the next step, the next step, let's say, for example, that you want to compress a file and you don't know if the person you want to send that file has WinRAR or not. Because in order to open a WinRAR file, we have already uh, to have the WinRAR application installed. But you can actually create a self-extracting file and this self-extracting file will decompress your files without the need of the program already installed. So let's say for example we will take uh, for example this checkpoint uh, PDF. We hit the add and here you can see that we can choose create SFX archive. If you choose it and you click OK, we will get actually uh, an executable file and this file in order to decompress it you will not need WinRAR installed so it's very useful if you want to send files to someone and you don't know if he has or not WinRAR installed and our final tip is also really useful for example Let's say you have a compressed file. We'll choose, for, for example, cacti here. And if we decompress this file, as you can see here, it contains a lot of folders and a lot of files. Let's say you want to see all the files and folders that contain this archive file. actually you can generate a report that will show you that in order to do that you choose your file your zip or rar file and you go to tools and generate reports and here you can choose the output format you can choose html format or text and with all the information you need, usual file, account name, and uh, file size, packet size. So you hit OK. And here, as you can see, you get an HTML file. So you can open it with your favorite browser. Let's open it, for example, with Google Chrome. And as you can see, it will display all the files and folders that contain that contains your uh, your archive so it's a very very useful report if you want to know the exact name of the folders and the files that contain your compressed file i hope that it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.